Eclipse Partitions installation video. Step 1. Mounting Wall Brackets Refer to the post, headrail, and bracket layout page from the factory supplied drawings to find side panel center lines. Refer to the elevation page to find the panel heights. Position the wall bracket one half inch above the desired side panel height. Use double ear brackets for interior stalls and single ear brackets for exterior stalls. Mark the bracket hole locations and pre-drill holes with a 5 16 inch drill bit. Insert plastic anchors and secure using two and a half inch torque screws. Make sure the bracket is plumb and level. Continue at all hole locations and repeat for all remaining wall brackets. Step 2. Installing feet and posts. Refer to the post, headrail, and bracket layout and elevation pages from the factory supplied drawings to find the center of post dimension. Drop a chalk line at this dimension. Also mark the center line of each post. Center the post foot at the appropriate location. Pre-drill the holes with a 5 16 inch drill bit. Insert plastic anchors and secure the foot to the floor using inch and a half torque screws. Slide the post over the foot with pre-drilled holes at the top and bottom of the post facing the inside of the stall. Secure the post to the foot using 3 quarter inch torque screws. And repeat at each post location. Step 3. Installing and leveling the headrail. Insert headrail caps onto each post, installing corner caps at the corners. Find the highest post and use a laser level to indicate this line across the system. Starting at the wall, insert the proper length headrail as shown on the supplied layout drawings over the first post and cap. While holding the corresponding post level, and the headrail against the wall. Mark the center of the post on the headrail. Cut the headrail using a circular saw with a metal blade. With the headrail in place over the caps, drill a 3 16 inch pilot hole in the back of the headrail and fasten with 3 quarter inch torque screws. Repeat until all headrail is installed. Lift the headrail caps until all the headrail is level. Secure headrail to cap by pre-drilling a 3 16 inch hole in the back of the headrail and fasten with 3 quarter inch torque screws. Repeat the process securing headrail cap to each post. For in-corner systems and alcoves, you will need a headrail wall bracket to secure the headrail to the wall. While holding the post level with the wall, measure the distance from the end of the corner cap to the wall and cut the headrail to fit. Place the headrail and insert wall bracket under the wall side of the headrail. Raise it until it's level. Using a square, make sure the headrail is at a right angle with the installed headrail. Mark the holes and secure the headrail to the wall using anchors and two and a half inch torque screws. Secure the headrail to the bracket using three quarter inch torque screws at each end. Step four. Installing Side Panels When the panel height exceeds 55 inches, side panels consist of two modular pieces. Slide the first panel into the wall bracket and support it with temporary blocking. Mark the top edge at 24, 36, and 48 inches from the front edge. At the marks while holding the drill as straight as possible, Make 3 8 inch dowel holes to a depth of 7 8 inch. Insert 3 8 inch by inch and a half dowels into the holes. Mark the bottom edge of the top bracket with holes 24, 36, and 48 inches from the front and repeat the hole drilling procedure. Slide the top panel onto the lower panel, inserting the dowels into the holes. Tap the panel tight with a rubber mallet. With the front edge of the panels flush with the front of the post, Pre-drill through the top and bottom post holes using a 3 16 inch drill bit with a 2 inch stop. Secure the side panel to the post at these locations using 2 and a quarter inch torque screws. Pre-drill quarter inch holes through the side panel at wall bracket holes 
and fasten with Torx head sex bolts. Repeat for each stall until all panels are installed. Step 5. Install Filler Panel Mount the filler panel to the wall 1 inch behind the overall dimension flush with the front of the post and at the correct height above the finished floor. The filler panel is fastened to the wall using wall anchors and 2.5 inch Torx screws. Step 6. Installing Fixed Panel Brackets Check the layout drawings for locations of fixed panel brackets. For brackets going through posts with side panels, use the leg of the bracket that features three sets of two holes. Align brackets with the pre-drilled holes in the side of the posts. And fasten using two and a quarter inch torque screws through the post and into the side panel. If you have previously installed two and a quarter inch torque screws through the post into the side panels, temporarily remove and re-secure through the bracket and back into the post and side panels. For brackets going into posts with no side panels, using the leg of the bracket that features three sets of two holes, align brackets with the pre-drilled holes in the side of the posts. With the provided inch and a half sex bolts, secure the brackets to the post and tighten. For brackets attaching to a side panel, place the leg of the bracket that features three sets of two holes against the side panel. Align the front of the bracket with the front of the post and secure to the side panel by pre-drilling a 3 16th inch hole and inserting a 3 quarter inch torque screw. Repeat at each hole pair location. Step 7. Installing fixed panels and doors. Bump the first piece of plastic up against the wall and maintain the required height above the finished floor. Secure the fixed panel to the bracket using 3 quarter inch torque screws and then secure the post to the fixed panel by inserting two and a quarter inch torque screws through the pre-drilled holes in the back of the post. Place the hinge next to the side of the first fixed panel with the edge flush with the face of the plastic. Outswing doors will have the knuckles on the outside while in-swing doors will have the knuckles on the inside. The Eclipse 2 hinge will be mounted closer to but not flush with the top of the doors and panels. Pre-drill 1 8 inch pilot holes in the center of the hinge holes and secure the hinge using the supplied 1 inch Phillips head screws. Repeat for all the holes in the hinge. Place a spacer underneath the door and bring it up to the hinge. Place the door 1 8 to 1 quarter inch above the fixed panel to account for the drop in gravity feature of the hinge. Mount the hinge to the door in the same way as the fixed panels. Refer to the layout page of your drawings to determine the correct size of the fixed panel that is next in the sequence. Bring the panel up to the fixed brackets and be sure to align the top of the panel with the top of the previous door. Maintain a 1 8 inch gap between the ship lap on the panel and the ship lap on the door. Secure the panel to the fixed brackets by pre-drilling 3 16 inch holes 1 half inch deep and inserting 3 quarter inch torque screws. Be sure to add two and a quarter inch torques from the back of the post into the back of the panel. Continue installing the hinges, doors, and panels across the front of the system. Step eight, installing the door hardware. Place the template sticker on the door with the center of the largest hole being approximately two inches from the edge of the door. With the template in place, drill holes completely through the door with the correct size bits. Place the slide latch in position on the back side of the door. Fasten the round black plastic attachment piece and the latch pull handle using the longer countersunk screws provided. The screws engage the black plastic holes in the latch. Drill a small hole into the top screw hole of the front facing round black attachment piece and secure with the small countersink screw. Place the square pin into the back of the indicator circle and be sure the red indication color is in the proper position to appear when the latch is in the closed position. Verify that the indicator circle is secured with the small tabs over the black plastic piece. With the remaining two screws, place the keeper on the adjacent surface and position so that the slide latch can engage it once it is rotated into the closed position. Step 9. Installing Coat Hooks and Bumpers for standard stalls, install coat hooks 5 inches down from the corner opposite the hinge. For ADA doors, 
Mount coat hook centered on the door and a maximum of 48 inches above the finished floor. Check state and local codes for any additional height restrictions. Using a half inch stop, drill 1 8 inch pilot holes and fasten with number 10 5 8 inch T27 Torx screws. For ADA compliant outswing doors, mount door pull on the inside of the door by drilling 1 8 inch pilot holes and fastening with two number 8 1 1⁄2 inch countersunk screws. Mount a bumper on the outside of the door 3 inches down from the corner opposite the hinge by drilling 8 inch pilot holes and fastening with two number 10 5 8 inch T27 Torx screws. This completes the installation of Eclipse partitions. We hope that the instructions provided in this video have made for a smooth installation process for you. By following these instructions, the end result will be a highly durable system that endures years of high privacy and high design. For more information, visit ScrantonProducts.com.